Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we'll be talking about what it's like to be an international student here at the University of Ottawa. Hello once again everyone and as I mentioned earlier we'll be talking about what it's like to be an international student here at UOttawa and joining us today we have three amazing people from the international office. So my name is Camilla, I come from Colombia, I'm in my fourth year of international studies in modern languages and I'm in charge of the Latin American region. My name is Gigi and I'm from China. I'm in my fourth year of biomedical science with a minor in psychology and I'm in charge of the Chinese and also the Asian region. My name is Sunny and I'm from India and I'm doing my master's in engineering and I'm responsible for students from South Asia and the Middle East. Beautiful. Thank you all so much for Thanks joining so much. us Thank today. You. Thank you for your time. Now let's get started right away with these questions. Now at Ophie is asking, is it difficult to feel included? I would say no, not at all. Honestly, uh, we're all international, but there's such a big diversity here on campus that you get along really quickly. You're definitely going to find someone from your region, but also people from other places. So you really get to experiment like us right here. We're, at, we're a really nice mix of the different types of people. As but you can see. Yeah, we're all very nice and close friends. So no, I don't think so. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's a great option to meet new people. But I would say it's also hard for you to kind of get out of your little group and your little mm -hmm. circle. It's so super easy for us to first come here and don't feel comfortable speaking English or even French. So you want to stay in your group and mm -hmm. those who speak the same languages. Yeah. So one really important thing is to step out of your comfort zone and try to meet new people and try to improve your English while you're here at U Ottawa. Yeah. Exactly. And my most trip to get out and meet new people is to join various clubs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have different clubs on the campus. So for example, if you are into chess, we have a chess club. If you like video games, which I do, so you can <laughs> Join, you can join the video game club at the University of Ottawa. So, in short, we have a place for you at the University of Ottawa. You just have to make a little bit of effort. That's exactly. Yeah. And we'll be more than happy to welcome you here in yeah. September of 2020. And as they all mentioned, get involved. Get yeah. involved. <laughs> all right. Now, at yenam.z is asking, when does the orientation week start for the freshman students? So, <laughs> this is very, very important. One mistake is people usually book their flight ticket close to the start of the first day of school and they miss the orientation because the orientation is usually at the last week of August. So you want to make sure you book your, your tickets earlier and arrive early. First of all, you get settled down, you get to meet people, you get comfortable before you start school, which can be very stressful. And it's important for you to be here at the orientation because we have a lot of information that will help you succeed as a student and in a new country. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. All right. Now, at Janina is asking, what are the housing options for an exchange student like um, here at Iwadwa? Yeah, so we actually have quite a bit. We have tons of residents. So if you feel like you want to enjoy living in campus, meeting people like that, mm -hmm. that's definitely an option. Uh, through our house ser services, you'll be able to apply to residents and really choose whatever you feel most comfortable. However, we do have other options that students go, for example, around the university. There's some different neighborhoods that they like to live on. So Sandy Hill, if you're ever looking, would be like a nice keyword for you to search apartments outside of campus. But there's definitely variety. It's a big, uh, Ottawa as a city is a big community of students. So there's definitely options. Awesome. Yeah. Now, at Ophie is asking, what are the essentials that I need to bring? Really good question. Yeah. There, there's honestly a variety. Um, I find that my essential was mostly like snacks. Because um, I knew I wasn't going to find Colombian snacks here, so I definitely packed up on some uh, like nice candy and something that would remind me of home when mm -hmm. I needed it. Um, but I think that's like my main thing. Definitely don't overdo your luggage. You don't yes. have to bring everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there's really good services like the free store here on campus where you can get like your essentials for free. Uh, so it's honestly a great option. Don't overthink it. But if you feel like something that's gonna like make you reminisce at home, definitely bring oh, it along. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so like I like to bring a taste of my country. So I like to bring tea. And one thing that I found very helpful in meeting new people and making friends is bring like little souvenirs from your country, mm -hmm. even from your region. And when you come here, you kind of like mingle with people and take out something like, oh, this is a snack from my country and I'm from mm -hmm. where. It's a really cool way for people to bond over food. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I would rather say something not to bring from your own country would be a warm clothes. So for example, I'm from India and it is a really warm country. Yeah. So if you think that you're going to survive Canadian winters with those warm clothes, you are in for a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> so, so please don't like, for example, if you're coming in the fall term, bring mm -hmm. some light sweaters, mm -hmm. but like you will have to buy something from here, like your warm coats and right. everything. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
Now, of course, being from far away, anything helps in terms of finances. Yes. So, um, <laughs> at Tharsis underscore Congolo is asking, what are the conditions for obtaining a scholarship here at Iwamba? Yeah. So definitely, there's tons of scholarships. I think we've all benefited from them. Uh, it's honestly a really good thing to do. Uh, there are different conditions and they vary depending on your faculty and your academic standing. Uh, however, when you do get admitted as an international student on a full-time basis in an English program, you get uh, a certain scholarship. Um, all of this, you can find it under your account. So for example, if you go under your Eurozone into scholarships, you can actually apply to all of them, depending on which faculty, and you're also able to see the requirements so that you know which ones you can and not apply. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's definitely a good thing to do. Look that up. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. And one takeaway uh, take message is that try your best to do really well in the grades because mm -hmm. a lot of the um, scholarship are merit based. So if you have really good grades, you will be applicable. Mm -hmm. But there's also other scholarships that are more community involvement based. So if you participate in a lot of sports teams or clubs mm -hmm. and have leadership roles, giving back to the community, though are, there are scholarships that are focusing on that. Mm -hmm. So the key is to be involved and get good grades. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Now. At Hedy underscore Om is asking, uh, can we have an appointment to help with our admission to the university? Mm -hmm. um, I would just jump in, take a look at our previous admissions Q and A video. Mm -hmm. um, also, always you can email. Um, admissions at uwadwa.ca. Exactly. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Something that has to do with your academic and with your admissions process has to go directly to the admissions team or your faculty. Mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely here to support you in the integration, inter integration yes. and the cultural <laughs> process, but uh, the admissions definitely go directly to those or the video. Why yeah, not? Exactly. <laughs> all right. And that is the final question oh, for today. Cool. Thank you all so much for asking Thanks all so of much. your questions yeah. um, on our Instagram post and thank you three for joining <laughs> us and taking the time out of your busy schedule to thank help you. out our international so students here. Um, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you do have any further questions about the University of Ottawa, of course, you can comment down below or you can find us on uh, Facebook or Instagram uh, through at UOttawaFuture. And with that, we thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs>